This video will go hard, because we're gonna make solid progress anyway. But let's start from the very beginning. Perfecting my account is a series where I pick one character and I focus an entire month on just building them. I try to give them the best weapons, artifacts, max order talents, give them the best stats that I possibly can, and basically try to make them perfect. This time around, we're gonna focus on improving Zhongli's shield, so we will try to maximize his HP, maybe improve his stats just a tiny little little bit. And before we do so, we have a quick word from our sponsor. Do you feel bored with your current browser and want to switch things up a bit? Why not try Opera GX? Opera GX can help with creating the most unique and personalized browser. Check out GX mods in the GX store and pick your favorite. I personally adore this Yai Miko mod. It comes with an animated wallpaper and relaxing background music. In this mod, you also get a purple color theme and even sound effects. Try typing anything. Or close slash open any tab. It's super easy to change the mod, just click mods and then enable and disable them. You can even try to mix and match them. And if you want more animated wallpapers, go to Opera add-ons where you will find so many of them. Opera GX also has a generative AI integration. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Now you can access chat GPT from your sidebar. And for example, if you're not sure how to build John Lee, just ask the AI. Oh wow, that's a whole essay. But let's be honest, the absolute best feature about Opera GX is the video pop-out that allows you to put any video or anime you're watching into an adjustable and movable frame. It's especially handy if you don't have a second monitor or you're working on a laptop. And if you're worried about losing all your bookmarks from your previous browser, then that's not a problem at all. Just go to settings, synchronization, import bookmarks and settings, choose your previous browser and import. Now you have them at the top of the screen and everything is ready for you to enjoy your fun new browser. Go ahead and download Opera GX today. Thanks so much to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to building Zhongli. So Zhongli has currently 40,000 oh, HP. Man, Crit ratio, honestly, pretty good, I would say. And a lot of energy recharge because I basically use his burst every rotation. For that reason, he also has the Favonia lands are five that's why i also care about his crit rate so that he can actually crit and give those extra particles to the party he is on the four piece tenacity set c0 and talents 188 my plan is to crown his e skill and bring this to level nine i would ideally want to crown both of these but i think i already mentioned this in one of my previous episodes that i'm slowly running out of crowns and so for now it's not possible for for me to crown his burst if I want to crown all of the characters I'm planning to build. Before we go to test the damage and, and the shield, we can look through his artifacts. This is his flower. Probably this could be changed a little bit. He has pretty good stats, but unfortunately it rolled quite a lot into the attack percentage. His feather, maybe you could have slightly less flat HP and more percent. HP sands, it's all right. HP goblet, this one I feel like is really good. And finally, his HP circlet. This probably could be improved. Honestly, all of his pieces are kind of mediocre. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to improve his personal damage because that's not not necessarily a priority for me, but we can always test it. We will test his hold E skill. Solidify. Like around 857, yeah, per per hit. Oh, he just crit. Now we're gonna do his burst. 20,980. That's actually quite a lot. And I think that might have been his biggest crit. And then we probably can test his shield strength how we did with Kirara. So we went to Raiden Shogun and we just saw how many attacks we can survive. <laughs> I want to give a one single update on Shanling because right now, as I'm recording this, we still have a few days of Raiden's banner. And for that reason, I decided to try my luck on the weapon banner and... 
Yeah. So I gave it to Shenling and I'm gonna work on leveling fully to level 90. And I think this is gonna be just like a perfect weapon for her, honestly. Even the catch is not gonna be as good as engulfing. <laughs> the fact that I have Raiden and I still did not even give her her signature weapon. Okay, we have to get until that stage when her shield is up, I suppose. Because that is gonna be easier for me to compare. Okay, almost her shield is up. Okay, let's Let's see. Can you survive this? He can, but he doesn't have his shield anymore. Oh, wait, I want to also test this. Uh, this, this one big hit if Zhongli can survive this. Uh oh, oh. He can't and he took a little bit of damage. So I just realized that I messed up the testing a little bit because before Raiden did that big slash, she did a couple of smaller ones that probably took a little bit from Zhongli's shield durability. And um, my testing will not make sense. Basically, most probably is that he was able to actually survive the big hit even before. Yeah, we're just gonna have really scuffed shield testing <laughs> throughout the whole video. <laughs> okay, thank you Raiden. It didn't fail. I was doing really well. What do you mean? So let's start with leveling Zhongli up. We need a lot oh, a lot of these slimes. I hope I'm gonna have enough to craft them. Because as you can see, I did pre-farm both his core lapis drops and also the pillars. But we gotta craft some. I hope I'm gonna have enough slimes. I really don't feel like farming slimes. <laughs> that just doesn't sound fun to me. Let's see. We first need to get these chunks. I don't remember how many we have. We have five. Oh, so one more. That's good. And now I need 24, I think, at least of the slime drops. Oh, okay. I <laughs> I have enough. Well okay. Level him up. We can move on to the next stage, which is actually not weapon, because I want to keep this weapon. I think it's a really good one. Therefore, the next stage is talents. I think I did get a few... Oh, maybe I didn't get a few books. Wait. <laughs> I did start farming his books, but I actually don't know if I'm gonna have enough. He needs gold ones, right? Oh, five extra Shincho. He always knows how to make me happy. And I'm happy that he's happy. Just in case today is Saturday and... Oh, <laughs> extra oh i was saying that today is saturday so just in case his talent domain is open this we have the crown oh i don't have enough oh no hmm that i think means we will not crown him today well if that's the case we're gonna go to the domain i have i think five condensed resin though i don't think that's gonna be enough i honestly can't wait when i'm gonna do risley's episode because he already like hits such big numbers so i kind of i'm kind of excited to see how far i can push him to be fair i do think this domain has a cryo damage bonus gold oh wh what is my luck today two gold books oh wow i mean you shouldn't have <laughs> i used yeah. to be the type of person to be like eh, i don't need jungle and then i pulled wanderer and i realized that i can't play him without a shielder because unfortunately he gets knocked back so much and i was on a mission I was on a mission to pull Zhongli for eight months. Eight or actually nine months it was. Yeah, I think I waited nine months for Zhongli's rerun after pulling for Scaramouche. And now, honestly, I'm using Zhongli quite often. I really understand what people mean that once you get Zhongli, you just become so lazy. <laughs> You're like tanking everything and you could not care less. I really understand that. Another gold one. Nice. Let's do one more round and then we will see if I can crown his E skill. Oh, Benny doing 27,000. But, uh, but Bonnie? I wanted to say Benny, Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie was always OP. <laughs> It's just so satisfying to see the numbers because, you know, I spent a lot of time farming artifacts and, and building these characters. Now that I think about it, yes, that's true. This episode marks the anniversary of the series. Exactly one year ago, I started doing the series. Oh, 
I just realized that. Look how far I've come. I feel like I've come very far, both as just this owner of the account, but also as a content creator. I feel like my channel completely changed since then. We're gonna go to the crafting table and see how much I have. I have 14 and I think in order to crown, I need 16. Again, bonus, Shincho. I just... I feel so blessed because of Shincho. <laughs> Let's have the crown. We need five more gold books. I don't think I'm gonna be able to farm them today, but let's see. You know, let's quickly see. Maybe we are gonna get super lucky again in that domain. Is that the domain? Yes. Come on, give me two gold books. One? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe, maybe we will have enough. Literally just two punches and they're down. This is the power of Risley. <laughs> he sounded a little bit like a Minecraft villager. What is my luck today? I got two gold books again. Yeah, we, we will have enough. What a wonderful day I'm having today. And another gold book. Yeah, I, I do have enough for sure. I doubt that uh, this luck would go into the artifacts, but... <laughs> so we have 11, I think we need 12. So we just need to craft one. That's perfect. Level nine. Amazing. Okay, so... Osme no, 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 Osmentis. Now, artifacts. <laughs> Looking at Zhongli's artifacts, what could we even switch? Which one should we prioritize? I think that the flower and the circlet probably could have the biggest amount of improvement. The rest, I think it's decent. I, definitely the goblet is really good. Let's go to the domain. I'm probably not gonna film a lot in that debate, to be honest with you. We're just gonna use the resin for today. But then I'm gonna check in when we finish farming. Because there's nothing really exciting about farming in a domain. <laughs> oh, I've been trying to upgrade Shenling's weapon. I'm out of hand guards and I just kind of don't feel like farming them. I know it's bad. We definitely should do that. Maybe I could do it as I'm filming so that I feel more obligated to do it. Because how much do I need even? I have her weapon at level 80 already. I... Oh, I need one more mask. I thought I performed everything. Oh, well then I'll have to do that. And definitely the handguards. As you can see, I only have one and I can't craft more. So why? The handguards. They're just like specters, but slightly better. Better. I don't know if Risley is doing 100,000 damage or is he doing 10,000? I think I will need to look at my footage because I'm confused. I know for a fact he can do over 100,000 with his charged attack because I have used him in a lot of weekly bosses and I know he's capable of doing that. Risley probably along with Yaimiko are my strongest characters right now, which is very funny because my Risley still doesn't have a four piece set. I think he was a a hundred thousand. I think at least if I saw it correctly. Oh, also, wait, wait, you know what? I just remembered. Speaking of engulfing lightning, I think I need to switch her, uh, what is it? Sense, right? To be ER now so that we can use the passive of engulfing. I'll try to strongbox it. And if I end up getting something, I'll just simply update you. I still think that probably towards the end of the series, I'll do an episode where I probably will just be showing off everyone's builds so that you can just see how everyone is looking like. I could go into detail as to why I chose, you know, certain sets, what teams I want to use, but that will happen, you know, when we actually finish the series. And that's not happening just yet. Oh, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, hangouts. <laughs> I'm so, so excited about that. I'm not saying anything. Oh my God, my Risley. Honestly, I think Risley is more powerful than the Aimiko now that I think about it. To be honest, I do have C1. That explains why he's more powerful than Yaimiko because my Yaimiko is C0. Honestly, I think I, I did say it already once that if I could C6 a character that would be Yaimiko and I still stand by that, but I'm probably never gonna do it because, you know, I don't even play the game that much just on my own for my pure enjoyment to even feel the satisfaction of having a C6 character, to be honest. I'm gonna go to the crafting table, see how many we can craft. I don't think it's gonna be a lot, but I just I just don't feel like farming a lot either. Can craft one. That's 
something. The time to roll all artifacts has finally come. We're at the Jane Chamber because I figured it's just the most fancy place I can think of in Liyue. So <laughs> let's do it. Maybe it's going to bring us a lot of luck. Stat priority, we will go full HP and then the substats, probably energy recharge and crit rate and the other two... It doesn't matter that much, to be honest, so... Uh, we did mention that we could improve his flower and circlet, right? So let's focus on those first. What do we have? HP attack, energy recharge. If the last stat would be crit rate, that would actually be a perfect piece. Mm, no. HP, crit rate, energy recharge, please. Oh, I thought that this says... <laughs> Because, you know, it's E and two words. And I thought, ooh, energy recharge. We actually got it. No, we didn't. Crit rate, HP, energy recharge, as always. I, so close, but so far. Come on, nothing else? No. Oh, no, we might have to strongbox this then. His feather, I remember that I was pretty satisfied with, but we can still check what other stuff we got. Yeah, these are only like DPS pieces. Okay, nothing for Junglead. <laughs> Did I get any sands? Not really. Energy recharge, crit rate, H percentage main. That's actually not a bad one. Maybe a bit of crit damage, I suppose. Uh, flatter attack. Uh, okay, sure. If you roll all into ER and crit rate... Okay. I would love if this beast had like 10 crit rate. That would be ideal, honestly. Energy recharge is good, but now only crit rate rolls. No, no, no. EM is like the worst stat for him. Okay, can I get at least one crit rate roll? I don't remember what circuit he has, but I'm starting to doubt whether this one is actually better. Crit rate. Okay, we did get it. Oh, it is better. Look at that. That will be an improvement. More crit rate and even more energy recharge. Okay, we at least improve one artifact. <laughs> one single artifact. How are his stats looking like? Don't look at the attack because he has the bonus from the team because we have double pyro on the team. 45. Wait, that's that's actually a good amount, but it's enough for the Favonius Levin's passive. A lot of of ER. Okay, that is not bad. We could actually even try to get more crit damage, but I think it's not necessary. I would still try to maybe go to Strongbox just like a tiny little bit to see if maybe we can get like one good flower and just try it. Let me use some artifacts. Well, that was like a very quick rolling session. I'm not gonna lie. Usually we spend so much time on rolling artifacts, don't we? And this time... Oh no, maybe the episode's gonna be super short now that I think about it. Okay, we have three flowers. We will leave them for last. Two physical damage bonus. What are the odds of that? HP circlet. Wait, with a crit rate and energy recharge. Maybe we can try it. Wow, three death percent sands. That sounds about right. Wait, crit rate, crit damage? I don't know who I could use it on, but I'll keep it. HP, crit damage. Mm, no, not good enough. One good flower. Oh, electro damage Bonus, not a bad one. Oh, wow, that's a nice crit damage circlet. HP crit rate. Uh, maybe this could have last that energy recharge. Okay, let's go and roll the two pieces we got. We got a circlet and a flower. We'll start maybe with the circlet because we have a not bad one already. So just in case if I get a bad one, I'm not gonna be disappointed. <laughs> this one. Let's see. All the rolls, ER and crit rate. Uh, of course, you roll into flat defense. Don't make me regret it. Mm, that was a small roll, but it's okay. No! Okay, I regret it. It's not gonna be better than what we have. So let's go to the hopefully less disappointing piece, which is this one. Energy recharge. No, it's the flat death curse, isn't it? Honestly, I don't see the point in trying to get even better artifacts. I think this is probably the best one we can do for now. I did care only about basically making his HP slightly bigger and having more crit rate energy recharge. I think it's like almost the same as it was before, maybe slightly more, which is perfect because as I said, I use his burst literally Osmantis every rotation. So, hold on, I'm gonna put Zhongli alone in the team and we're gonna go to Masanori to do the test 
damage, which I don't think that the damage is gonna be bigger because I do think we actually ended up having less crit damage. But as we already know, this is not like a damage dealer for me. This is purely a support and his shield is way more important. So later we're gonna go to Raiden. Let's see if you crit. Okay, he's standing like right outside of this. Please just one step closer. <laughs> Oh, 1,700. I think that might be the highest. So now we just need the burst. I will have order. I... Was, was there, there a number? number? Maybe he blocked it. Do you think he blocked my burst? No. If he did, I'm gonna be so sad. Stop blocking my burst. This is order. Yeah, this is order. Oh, 15,000, but that was not a crit. So... I will have Come on. Oh, 20... 3,000. That was definitely a crit. Let's go to Raiden Shogun. Oh, I knocked my mic so badly. <laughs> Just need to honestly wait until her shield puts up. This one. We're just looking at each other. Are you gonna do the big slash, please? Oh, oh perfect. Let's see. Wait, he survived that. And I remember that his shield Stay broke alive. and got a little bit of uh, damage even. Yeah, dummy, because you tested it incorrectly. <laughs> Ignore this part. <laughs> he still has his shield up. We did it. We did it. For okay. I mean, was it because we simply ascended him one more time? 100%. Yes. <laughs> Let's go here to discuss the end results. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't repeat the test for the shield strength before but oh well it happens <laughs> but we can see that at least from his damage his numbers are slightly bigger yet again i do think that it's because we leveled him up and he has more base attack and also hp but he was super powerful even before so i didn't really expect too much of a difference anyway now i just have the satisfaction of him being crowned and raised up so